then? Just your personal view, the, the fight, did it go the way you thought it would? Um, uh, I have to be honest, and I thought Connor would do a much better job than he did, but I will also say that this was a this was a fight where I for 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 one or another reason I paid attention to uh, some of the other stuff that was going on in the media, some of the build up stuff, uh, some of the some of the promotional stuff that they do. Um, I probably paid more attention to that than I did any other fight. Normally I completely ignore that stuff because I'm just too busy, I'm just not interested in. And I feel in hindsight that I got completely influenced by that stuff. <laughs> yeah, you know, as much as 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 much as I've been around the sport um, uh, and, and know my way around it, um, I feel like I, uh, to a degree, got suckered in a little bit, and that helped me, helped in my own mind decide that Connor had a, a better chance than he actually did. In hindsight, and, it, it, and I know everything's easier to do in hindsight, I look back and I think to myself, uh, I start to wonder the reasons why I thought um, Connor had such a good chance and they're not really valid reasons. Uh, I should have been a little bit more calculated with the way I thought that fight would go. So, um, to be honest, I had it going for Connor and, and, and when I think back, and I, I should never have had it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I made a very grave error. Things, um, I mean, I'm, I'm only human, and different things come into your mind and influence you, and some of those things come into your mind and influence you on a level that you and where you don't even know that they're influencing you. And they have, and then when you make a conscious choice, you've had all these things, give, uh, you know, you've had all these inputs, and then you sometimes make a choice that isn't completely uh, calculated correctly. And then, um, like I said, it's easy to say hindsight, but when I, when I do think back to it, um, I didn't look at it, uh, I didn't analyze it properly. I was too heavily influenced by other things. Um, I should have definitely had it in Khabib's favor, and for one or another reason, um, I did not. So. so do you think that would be the last time you'll pay attention to the build-ups? Like? Probably. I've already said that. I said that. <laughs> yeah, I don't even normally pay much attention to it unless sometimes um, our guys are in it then I want to have a look at how it comes out but normally I, I, I'm just I'm just not interested in uh, seeing what other seeing basically what people do here but in another country because it's all you know, relatively the same like they don't show anything different it's just watching the same thing over and over again really yeah um. I have to ask you because you know, like I know how hard you've built, helped build the sport here in New Zealand, and there's people like that all around the world, and the sport was sort of come out, had to fight its way out of what people called thuggery, and and it come to be a real uh, professional sport, a clean sport where there was uh, top class athletes, and now it seems to be you know like try and try and attract people no matter how you do it um have you got any views on that yeah well yeah and 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 i although i've been in the sport a long time there's people been in the sport much longer than me but even when i first started um to help get the sport where it is now we could not have gone through the processes that it goes now because to get it mainstream, we can't be, um, you know, yelling at each other and talking about each other's fathers and pushing each other and swearing at each other. Because then that sport wouldn't be where it is now. So, from where I come from, I don't like to see it because I never came up that way. Yeah, and and from out of that, out of behaving like a little bit more respectfully and stuff, that was able to get the sport mainstream. What the problem is now, is now it is mainstream, and uh, uh, and attitudes have changed. So, and a lot of these, uh, a lot of the people coming through now, um, once it's mainstream, it's hard to, it's hard for it to be pushed off that perch, 
is already mainstream now. And so now um, when fighters are doing certain things that they need to be pulled back from, now, now no one's pulling them back from it. Nobody's sanctioning them. Nobody's saying that you can't do this. It's kind of like the wild, wild west, to be honest. And you know, in terms of the incident that happened in the weekend, I, I mean, I'm not not sure everybody shares my view, but every person has a point, has a breaking point. And for a lot of people, uh, myself included, and a lot of proud um, proud men. It, it stops at when you start talking about someone's family, religion, national pride, you know, that's the breaking point. Yeah, okay, so um, I see, although I think it's, it wasn't the best thing for Khabib and his team to do, I can fully understand why they did it. More, more to the point is what Connor says and does needs to, like there has to, that is that was the problem that should have been checked that should have been sanctioned someone should have said look you, this, you can go to a certain point to promote the fight but you can't do this there's certain things that you can't do because then certain things are going to happen and if there's no one doing that then then incidents and instances like this can happen but i've known this for a long time i've known that the ufc and what happens amongst the fighters and the way they let things go is a little bit like the wild wild west when israel has to go to an event and they want him to go by himself i never let him go by himself you know i never let him go by himself i always say no oh, you can't go by yourself you know like who's going to look after you this is, this is the ufc like they everything's good for, they like if, if, any incident that happens they love even if it puts you in danger it's more promotional power for them you got to take two or three guys with you just in case something happens because it's the wild wild west in the UFC you can do whatever you want so we don't like I mean although we don't complain that much about it we just make sure we watch our back and, and that's just the way it is and we, we make sure we look after each other and uh, perhaps uh, I, although I think that should ch change I'm not sure if it will but maybe that's where the, the blame lies it's not actually with Khabib but with the, the higher powers that be, like putting a little bit more authority down where it needs to be put. You cannot get away with saying these things in the NFL or the NBA or something. You get fined and banged out. Um, you know, you get, you, you have to be arrested straight away when you say these controversial things. Because they know that there's a point that you can go and you shouldn't go beyond it. So I'm not sure um, what the UFC is going to do about it, but just as much has to be blamed on them as has to be blamed on Khabib and his team, in my opinion.